nonmetals. So for nonmetals, nonmetals are the opposite of all these things. They're not shiny, they're dull. They don't conduct, they insulate. They're not malleable, they're not ductile, they are brittle. So if you try to hit them or stretch them, they'll just crumble. And so that is the difference, some of the physical properties of, chem of metals versus non-metals. And <clears throat> on your periodic table, you should know that there is a dividing line between the metals and the non-metals. And we've already put that on yours, the, that little staircase there. That is the dividing line between metals and non-metals. Generally speaking, there are a couple of exceptions, but uh, things to the left of that line, and that it does include the rare earth metals, are metals. These are all metals. Transition metals, rare earth metals, alkali metals, alkaline earth metals. They're all metals. So they would all fit into those categories of shiny conductors that were malleable. To the right, though, these, a small group, those are your non-metals. So uh, if you could find those in molecular form, they would follow the uh, other other rules. They would insulate, they would be brittle, they would be dull, they would not be shiny. And so <clears throat> that is the difference between metals and non-metals.